Hey guys, it's Captain Jack Sparrow here, and welcome back to my how-to series. This episode is going to be fairly straightforward. We're going to work on explaining animals. One of my kids asked me to do this, and well, I'm going to do it. First thing I wanted to explain was where to get food for animals. Um, as you can see, I'm holding a carrot, and the pigs are following me as if I have their firstborn. Uh, same for wheat, will we'll attract sheep and cows. And it just happens that you breed the same way. Um, seeds will attract chickens, and as far as the three, ooh, I forgot about horses. Is it carrots for horses or apples for horses? I can't remember. What is it? It must be apples because, well, you can't feed them carrots. So apples for horses. Okay, so if you look here, come, is, it, is it apples? There we go. Two, two horses. Let's just breed. breed. Ha have a horse. I don't know if the... Ooh, maybe that'll be a completely different video. Uh, hor horses uh, are, are still new to me. I play a lot of modded, so uh, I'll address that in the next video. So, breeding. Uh, pigs, once you see the little hearts there, they breed and pop out a baby pig. Sheep, you can breed them the same way, and they pop out a little sheep. And cows the same way, uh, pop out uh, little cows. Now, chickens, you can breed chickens this way, but another way to get chickens, boom, there's a little chicken. Another way to get chickens is by uh, getting eggs from chickens. They, they drop them, uh, or they spawn, or whatever you want to call them, every once in a while, and I think the number was one out of six. One, two, one. So that would be three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Pretty close. One, two, three. And see, we're starting to get some more. So anyway, so chickens, if you collect a bunch of eggs, you can start uh, reproducing chickens fairly quickly. Now, where do you get the food? The food's very simple. You break the grass around the world, and you can get the seeds, which are here. And in a hoed piece of ground, you just plant seeds. Woohoo, right? And same with carrots. Carrots, you can do the same thing, except you, when you find carrots, you find carrot seeds, and... Or wait, do you find carrot seeds? I don't think you find carrot seeds. Pumpkin seeds, melons. So the only way to get carrots, if I remember correctly, in vanilla is chests in dungeons or zombies drop them. But once you have one, you can bone meal them and you will end up with quite a bit more. And you just sit there and, and bone meal them. And obviously I'm in creative. That was kind of silly. But uh, it will produce you three or four of them. So... With that said, what else? I don't really just want to put this stuff in here. I can't remember what attracts horses. Now, the next thing is, let's go ahead and get some iron. What are these animals useful for? If we take two pieces of iron and we put them in our crafting table, our handy dandy not we're going to use the cobblestone generator I did in the last episode as a crafting table. Uh, make yourself a set of shears. Like so. And you can collect the wool from the sheep. Now, wool comes in multiple different colors. And as far as I know, in vanilla, there is no way to uh, irritate the wool enough to regal, regrow its, uh, its, its wool. Other than that, you get pork from pigs and wool or wool and leather and beef from cows chickens you get a piece of chicken and sometimes you get a feather like so and feathers can be used for um like making arrows and some of the other recipes especially in modded so 
you will definitely get uh, quite a bit of use out of all of this. And hopefully, guys, I gave you a fairly decent explanation on basic animal tree. I don't know if that's even a word. Be being a farmer. Yes, a farmer. Anyways, I'll catch you.